people good morning good morning everybody drove up to the unit that I had my elk tag on last year and I'm up here gathering cameras that I left behind so I've got a long day ahead of me I got a couple long hikes and one really bad dirt road to drive down so um, I'm gonna get rolling I kind of got up here late last night so I slept in this morning but still nice and cool let's go get these things here at the first one this spot just had a lot of elk moving through it and stuff a lot of good feed um, which is a lot of places up here but I uh, threw it out anyway just to see what would happen there was a couple good bulls on it through the hunts so we'll uh, we'll see what turned up it's probably dead so I won't have any cool pictures from this year but let's see what we got well as you guys can see there was uh not too much good on that camera which is surprising to me because there was a couple really good bulls when I checked it during the hunts but oh well um, it died June 8th so I didn't even have any bulls like in their summer growth phase but I don't think they'd be here uh, this is kind of more of a rut spot anyway so oh well on to the next one well I went down into town and got some highly nutritious food some McDonald's <laughs> and uh, now I'm back up on the mountain on a crappy road I will give you guys a peek at what this road looks like but I think this is going to be the last time I ever put a camera down here um, I put I used to have a four-wheeler and I'd run up here pretty regularly and check it and this road wasn't so bad but getting a truck down it is a nightmare and so i think it'll be last year i put a camera on this spot yeah just football sized rocks just shake your kidneys to death worst so this is where i wind up after that crappy drive so i've had a camera down here below this lake for i think this is the fifth year I've had it there but yeah with new rules and stuff on trail cameras it just isn't gonna make sense to keep this one here anymore keep putting it back if I can only keep it there for the summer so it's a bit of a bummer honestly uh, this is like the first place I ever started really seriously running cameras was on this unit and this is one of the first camera sets that like really started producing for me so bittersweet I'm glad to not have to drive down that road ever again just got to drive out it one more time but I'm gonna miss I'm gonna miss this spot but this camera is really cool it's always got a bear on it seems like every time I've checked it there's been a different bear on it so um, I'm excited to go down there and see what's on it yeah I love to freaking see it gosh dang it you pieces of garbage somebody stole my camera 4k camera gone stupid pieces of trash well I got back to the truck but more I think about it uh, so I found some more pieces of plastic from the camera kind of laying around on uh, the ground where that camera was I found the pieces where you thread the strap through so I think whatever was yanking on it whatever you pulled it off there it was also like didn't undo the strap before it started yanking on it and you think I mean there's some dumb people out there but you think most people would undo the strap so that they could so that they could get it off easier or whatever so could have been a bear could have been an elk I didn't see like anything clawing or like rubbing right there and I looked around it a bunch to see if uh, I could see the camera laying somewhere but it wasn't there so something might have hauled it off but Oh well, such is life. It's just a bummer. That camera's always got good rod action on it, and there's a big wallow in front of it, and that was the first year I ever put a 4K camera on it. So I was really excited to get some of that video, but oh well, it sucks. But I still hate whoever would steal a trail camera, even though I don't know that this was a person. I still would hate you if you'd stole it, so just remember that. There's a special place in HE double hockey sticks for people who steal trail cameras, so don't ever do it. 
Well, last two cameras for the trip, and luckily, this one is here. So one 4K survived. Got some good water here. There was a good wallow there during the rut, so let's see what we got. Well, so nothing too great on any of these cameras, but oh well, I've got them all down and now I don't have to make these hikes anymore. <laughs> it's, it's good news. It's good news for me. Um, now I've got one last death march out of here and then I am going to drive home. But thank you guys for following along. We are T minus like 30 days, 35 days or something till the hunts start. So now I can start focusing on units I actually have tags on, start seeing what's out there. So. 
we will try and keep you guys updated as we go through all that but till then we'll see you on the next one